fellow naughty steppers. It's crime time! I was going for a bit of a here's Johnny thing there, don't know if it quite came across. But if you hadn't guessed from that brief introduction already, or from having looked at the title to this video, then the EP that I will be covering today is the latest from Crimer for Never Say Die's black label, Crime Time. A Montreal-based dubstep producer with certainly one of the more ravenous styles of production that I've become accustomed to over the past few years. Finding his way onto the scene through Octane Radio and appearances on both Disciple and Firepower Records before embedding himself in the Never Say Die family. And with regards to that ravenous style of production, it is one that certainly took me a bit of time to get used to, but which is undeniably unique. Elevating high-pitched grating sounds with a certain alertness and instancy to his note placement. In the process, creating a nice juxtaposition between the clarity from one moment to another and the seemingly fuzzy nature of his sound in general. And the hype surrounding the release of this EP was huge, leaving me wondering whether it was Never Say Die's marketing above anything else that was on point, or, on the contrary, that people were seeing this as the biggest thing in the Crimer catalogue to be released to date. And I think it's safe to say that I'm siding more with the second interpretation, because this is not only the best EP that I've heard from Crimer, but I think all of the four songs individually are my favourite four songs of his. To expand a little more on those grating sounds that I was talking of earlier, a staple element of Crimer's production, I feel like there is a distance in their delivery, screechy to the extent that they seem far away, beyond reach somewhat. But from the off here with the starting track Damage, helped along by the very matter-of-fact and lively vocal from Mikey Caesar, Damage, 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 damage. The listener gets an inkling that Crimer's synth usage is being brought further to the front, sharper, more exact and high deft, if you will. In particular, I love the mix of tight percussion and enchanting hypnotic style of synth used in combination in its introduction, as well as the isolation of certain short-lived dubstep sequences, giving them that lasting and enduring impact. Everything is just available for the receiver of this music to be more aware of it. It doesn't seem far off, creating a more intimate experience as a result. The short breaks from the dubstep sequences do well to put everything in perspective also, whilst the quickening and spacing out of particular notes aid this cause even further. And it was in listening to this that I thought there probably isn't another artist like Kramer who treads that line so carefully between producing a normal Never Say Die EP and a black label one. That alienating underground darkness associated with rhythm, coupled with the more colourful and bombastic insistence favoured in the brostep sphere. The incorporation of the latter explaining the drifting in of Spagheady in the track Got Damn, which couples the pasta man's spirited, circus-like approach with Crimer's forceful structure. And I love those vibrant little plinky plonky notes trudging away in the background of the introduction here. And the drop is just such a clear blend of two styles, both inserting little bits of naughtiness wherever they can. That bit where it quickens briefly at the one minute mark and you're just like, oh fuck me, this is naughty. And the percussion supports these terrifying rips and tears throughout the track very well. There is a part of me that feels a bit like there could have been more experimentation with the drops, but I feel like the way that it changes from the first to the second drop is a compromise enough. Furthermore, I would say that the musicality throughout this EP is very poignant and fitting, luring the listener into the madness that will unfold, creating a journey within each track individually. It certainly isn't easy to create a hook or melody that aligns with the dubstep format well, but Crimer seems to do so effortlessly here, formulating sequences that fit the succeeding heaviness appropriately and said musicality is probably most fitting in the second and fourth tracks. With the former, the playfulness between those notes creates that sombre and ethereal effect, letting that take centre stage before the beat truly kicks in in the lead up to the drop. Which turns out entirely unexpected as a result. A drop that I didn't warm to as much as others on the EP, but which still adheres to the thicker sound adopted here by Crimer. And on the final track, Switch, once again we have that gloomy, pensive introductory sequence, followed by an absolute mesh of blinding, 
helter-skelter since that left me, at least, not quite sure what to do with myself afterwards. God damn, that was so filthy I think I need to go and take a shower. I do like the abruptness with which this song, and therefore the EP, finishes. I think it's very fitting for the thumping nature of this collection as a whole. Signalling them all as individual bangers, without a necessary continuity between them beyond the sound design, which I like. And this is before I've discussed the vocal samples sprinkled into this EP. The funniest of which comes in Countdown, which, while spoken in American accent, reminds me only of British people trying to speak Spanish. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. I can speak Spanish now. Or the one used just before the drop in the Spag Heli collab, an exasperated, strained breaking point just before the madness ensues. God damn son of a drop. And the way that the come on vocal sample is manipulated in the second drop, it just sounds gnarly as fuck. Whoa, gotcha. He certainly readdresses his fuzzier style of production in Countdown, but I think the main point with this EP is that he displays a variety way beyond anything he's produced in the past. He traverses from the precise opener to that fuzzier style, then onwards to the more varied and relentless Spagheady collaboration, before ending with the visceral mind melter that Switch is. And whilst that variation is what I love about this EP, it still pertains to that gritty and thoroughly aggressive method of production that we have come to know Crime for. There are certainly points where the heaviness overrides the intricacies, and it becomes more difficult to discern the artistry such as the sheer volume of the sound. But I feel like the more that I listen to it, the more I'm going to discover little hidden gems hidden within each track that are going to make me like them even more over time. In terms of recommendations, as I said, I do find Crime's style unique. Yet in terms of sound and synth usage, there are definitely a couple of artists that I would guide lovers of this EP in the direction of. There are parts where I'm like, ooh, Tramper, and then there are other parts which remind me of the jumpiness of an artist like Ehide, and then there are other moments where I'm feeling a bit more of a Dubloads influence. So, any of those guys, I suppose. And in terms of a favourite track from this EP, then I would have to go with the Spagheady collaboration Got Damn which I think pits two similar yet fundamentally different styles together very well from start to finish. And that's that for my thoughts on the latest EP from Crimer, released on Never Say Die's black label, Crime Time. Thank you very much, as always, for tuning in. Give this video a thumbs up, share it about, and comment with your thoughts on the EP. What did you make of it? Please let me know if that was too creepy, it's just something I wanted to try out. Also, if you have any thoughts on videos that you would like to see from me beyond EP, album and compilation reviews, then let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and are enjoying the content. And get liking and following across all social media too. All of which, including links to previous videos, is in the description box down below. If it's naughty, then you know. So keep it naughty, guys, and stay safe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Bleh.